all we can do. We have to let it go. Chopin people, it's one of his most famous works. It tells a story, don't just stop. Chopin will forgive you, Papa. Wrap it up. Happy? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Do you remember the, the day Zelda arrived at our door? Mm, no. Signifying unto us the mystical union that betwixt Christ and his church. Well, and we know what side he's on. Unlikely. Therefore, if any man present, can show just cause why they may not to be lawfully joined together, let him now speak or else hereafter hold his peace. Mm. And now Zelda and Janusz have each written their own vows. Zelda? Slowly, Zelda, slowly. Janusz, I love you. I love everything about you. I love that you are on time, I love that you hang pictures straight and always without measuring, perfectly centered. I love that you don't lose money. I love that you never stain a wooden spoon. I love that you lift with your legs. And I love that I am your wife. Now, Janusz. Mine has been a life of hardship. Cold winters, many nights, no sleep. My family lived day to day. But I was given the tools. I could fix what was broken. And that was to be my life, I thought. And then I made you, Zelda. I did not know I was broken until you were the one to have fixed me. Oh, Jesus. Moishi, I will be taking care of you. I will be providing for you. You will be wanting for nothing. Now you will finally get to enjoy life without burden never having to work another single day for as long as you live. When what do you say? Sick, I'm not quite sure you. his accent is so thick. When did he say healthy, she would never work I again? I don't know. For better Miriam. and for worse. What did he say? I what? Papa, you. stop. I'm trying to listen to the mouse. Rose, you are my is she quitting? What is wrong and with I'm you? And I'm your Janusz, until we die, together. <laughs> Peacefully, <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> Abe, are we losing Zelda? And Never no, having Zelda, to work another day is pretty me. cut and dry. We're work. Shh. We're not just work, we're family. This is how she tells us. Hey, there's a man speaking Polish up here. And what did he mean without burden? Have we been a burden to Zelda all these years? Mama, Papa, now get off. I don't know why you're being so calm right now. Because our Zelda is getting married. Apparently our Zelda thinks we're a burden. That includes you. What? No, it doesn't. Most of her day is spent taking care of your children. Yes, she loves them. They're like family. Are you sure about that? My children are not the burden. She was talking about you guys. Either way, you're losing your child care. Oh. Did that sound like Zelda was quitting to you? I can't tell you what's what anymore. Everything's in Polish. If she quits, we're screwed. Who's gonna watch the kids? Oh, God. Zelda brings them by the club after school when I can't pick them up. This is not good. Excuse me, guys, Father Piotr, but is it too late to make an objection? I'm sorry? Oh, Gewalt. Well, not an objection, per se. A r request for clarification, really. I'm just wondering, when you say the bride will finally enjoy her life, uh, when exactly will she start enjoying it? Are uh, we thinking end of the year, through the summer? We have that cocktail party in May for my clients. Uh, could the bride start to enjoy her life after the cocktail party? Oh, and would the bride still be able to pick Ethan up from school Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or was that part of the burden too? Pipe down, all of you. You're making Jews look loud and obnoxious. Damn it. As Janusz and Zelda have consented to holy wedlock before God, I pronounce that they be man and wife together in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <laughs>